Hello folks, I'm Colonel Failure and this is A-Train 9 version 4. Uh, we're driving at the moment, well we're not driving, we're riding on uh, the only train service for passengers that we currently have running. And as you can see, it, it runs a very short hop between uh, two of our kind of town areas that we've got going on. We're very much in a, a building up phase at the moment, uh, trying to build enough kind of suburby towns in order to make it worthwhile expanding our train services and as has been mentioned a couple of times the eventual goal will be to have uh, a scheduling nightmare uh, something incredibly complicated to get working but hopefully the end effect should be rather good fun so if you haven't been following along already let's just uh, have a quick look at what we've got so far uh, so this was our original uh, build area and as you can see over here we've got uh, a goods depot that is being automatically stocked up by uh, an exterior running rail service, which will turn up. If I up the tempo just a little bit, I don't want to do the uh, the the, fl the flashing days passing lights of, of running at extreme speed, but I think we can get the speed running a little faster. Uh, yeah, so we're distributing by truck out to the uh, kind of the, the deeper regions of the town, which is out over here. Uh, if we follow this truck there, actually, if we zoom in, you can see it's pulling in here, which means we, the, the only thing that can be uh, realistic there is that we have an underground goods depot, as you can see, right there. Uh, and that's relatively full up at the moment. Growth has slowed a little, and it will continue to be that way until we expand uh, overall services. So there we go. So here is our, our, our passenger train, and it does make around about 15,000 a day profit um, which you know I'm pretty I'm pretty comfortable with uh, so what are we going to do today um, well last episode we expanded our, our rail network such as it is uh, to start to think about where are the next stations going to be so we've uh, we've kind of set I guess branches spurs of track off in in multiple different directions and uh, and from that point we will uh, we will expand into something uh, far more grandiose over time but my my goal in the short term is to is to kind of build up one town one district one suburb per episode uh, where am i looking here the map does do me no favors at all in terms of showing which way i'm facing right so i put this together last time around and uh, and at the moment there is nothing in there that will help it grow whatsoever uh, there's no depot waiting, there's no, um, there's nothing. I've just built some infrastructure. So I've given it plenty of space for, for new stuff to grow, um, but I've done nothing more than that right now. So thinking about where are we heading as time goes on, we need to be heading up this way eventually because that's the middle of the map. But this station is, is geared towards a, a kind of a, a left-right approach as we look at it now. But it is connected already uh, so right back to this same station here so I could easily run another service out over this slightly winding course to get into this station which is great because the addition of passengers really does help uh, a new platform a new station to uh, to, to grow quickly um, but in order to get to that point we're also going to want to, to ship some goods in this direction so before I get to that the only thing that really sort of perplexes me is what am I thinking with this road here it would be nice if it decided it wanted to uh, wanted a tunnel without uh, without making too much fuss but yes uh, track laying road laying in a train is uh, is a well it's it's more art than it is science uh, you know, I mean I'm going to speculatively do this just on the off chance that it, it feels like allowing me a tunnel to to majestically appear but when it comes down to it it's more likely that I'm going to have to uh, tinker with the uh, with this kind of hill this mountain hill uh, that we've got in place here in order to get the road going through the good news is that that means that you know were the computer to try and lay a little more road there they would encounter similar difficulties so the likelihood that I end up uh, foiled by the, the computer kind of plumbing in extra bits is fairly slim. So the question remains, what's the best way to get some goods out here? Now that's a passenger station. 
which uh, station station thank you loading bay no that's road station ground can you I did. it's been such a long time I can't remember whether you do need a uh, a dedicated good station or not I don't think you do maybe you don't okay right well in which case uh, I'll uh, that's the plan. Right, good. Plan formed in head immediately. Uh, first things first, I'm going to get some track laid down uh, because we'll transport our goods out here by train. So as you can see, we've got a, if you can see through the rain, uh, we do have, actually let's get it to, to sunlight again and then I'll, uh, I'll slow it down so that we can, we can operate in daytime. So uh, as you can see, I do have track waiting to be used right here the trick is going to be hmm. okay right you said you were waiting for daylight it's now four o'clock in the afternoon right i've set the uh set the speed to to fairly slow right let's think about there you can't zoom out far enough right where am i where what uh, turning around has got me lost again where am I going? Where where am I going? Oh, this is ridiculous. Right, you're here, and you want to go down over there. Right, so let's just whip one bit of track down here. In a straight line, that'll help. There we go. Right, so we now at least have both sides of the track in view, which is, well, it's a start. And eventually, this will be used as a uh, uh, as a passenger line um, between the two stations. Now, as much as I have multiple options as far as passenger routes are concerned, there. What do you think? Two million to go across there, or do we want to go around the outside? Actually, I quite like the notion of going across the water. Uh, yeah, you you probably didn't want to do that. So if I want to fit it to the end, no, it's not going to it's not going to work it out for me. But that's what we want to do. So the last the last section over the water is actually a curve. So let's drop that back a chunk or two, and then lay some more in. Which side are we looking at? We're looking at that side, right? pretty straightforward stuff and I my my hope is that I won't be leaving any uh, any bare areas of this map uh, if uh, if we manage to get towards a, a certain level of profitability then uh, all being well there we go uh, I'll have the uh, the resources to continue expanding almost infinitely um, if not infinitely in terms of the the, the map's capacity uh, in which case we will be able to uh, to continually expand for quite some time right okay so I'm gonna stick a um, uh, a depot underground and I think given the size of this area and given the fact that I want to use this as a an expansion set up from my uh, my factory that I've got I think we'll stick a we'll stick a big one under there. Now this is a somewhat risky proposition in terms of you know is it going to be profitable or not. So if we head back to this station, I believe there is another depot underground here. There it is. It's right there. Look. And those resources are being used, but shuffling from one area to another isn't a problem. So what I'll probably end up doing. Uh, is adding more trucks onto this line that this chap is working here to ferry more goods out of this factory out towards the station so that my uh, my train service can be full most of the time. Uh, whether this is going to work or not is, uh, is entirely up for debate. Right, let's buy ourselves a goods train. Ding, 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 ding. Freight. Okay, that's good. Right, and this looks like a relatively short, uh, short platform kind of an idea. What have we got here? Express freight versus cheap and cheerful. 
I think we take the fast one. It's going to be more expensive to run. Uh, let's go six and hope it fits. If it doesn't fit, then uh, uh, close that. Uh, yeah, if it doesn't fit, then I'll just have to sell it and, uh, and buy another one. Right, we'll place you out over here. And then we'll turn it around and hit the timetable assistant. Oh yeah, plenty of space. Loads of space in the station. Okay, so as as ever, here we are again with the timetable assistant. Uh, action mode, stop, yes, definitely. Direction is going to be a reverse. What do we think? Departure times is probably a good idea if we leave at 6 a.m. and then uh, keep running until kind of 4 p.m. And I'm picking these numbers arbitrarily, uh, but that's just so that uh, it's it, if it, if I run it continuously, so you know it's it's constantly in motion, then uh, what we'll end up with is um, a situation where it's running on a regular basis where it's not full and uh, and that's you know just a, a nice quick easy way that's station settings you idiot uh, so no is it station settings no you know, that's, no you had it right you were right right so then so it's got a reasonably, it's got a full-ish load now, and this is going to help both the profitability of the depot that's underneath here, the profitability of the factory overall, and when I add a couple more trucks to the uh, to the setup, it will uh, it will help those guys out as well. Let's wait. Let's just fast forward a little to get to the first in motion for this train. There we go. Right, once it gets here, we're just going to reverse, and I want unload only, but for some reason it's not giving me. Uh, let's stop for half an hour before heading back. Yes, I do seem to have simplistic commands going on here. I wonder what that's all about. Anyway, right, that's given that enough instruction that it will be able to uh, to now run to its heart's, heart's content. But I do want to get a couple more trucks in the setup, uh, despite the fact that there is a, a risk that I deplete that factory. The good news, however, is that I can just build another factory, should I need to. Now, where, where are you, dear boy? You'll be around here somewhere, I'm certain of it. Ah, here we go. All right, truck six, train, buses and trucks, number six. Okay, so as you can see, this particular depot has space for another three trucks, and I think I'm going to buy all three. It's, uh, what colour are we running here? It's, right, we're running these. Uh, and then we'll copy the uh, close. Uh, we'll copy the uh, the timetable approach from this guy. For reasons best known to itself, is not giving me that option. What have I done? They haven't patched this game to take out a bunch of options, have they? Or have I suddenly hit some kind of uh, simplified version? Huh. What am I missing? Specification, name, status, no. Historically, I'm sure of this. Right, options. Let me just, I'm just going to briefly check. This is the kind of thing that I wasn't anticipating in the slightest. Uh, schedule. Detailed timetables, yes. Oh, all of it. Yeah, give me the works. Uh, display room branch. I'm going to use timetable assistant to reset time, yes. And then we'll individual parts right? Yes. Right. That should be right. Uh, let's go try that again. Apologies for, for deviating, but uh, I think it's it's worth... There we go. See, there's my options back in. Right, we're going to copy from there. We're going to paste onto this one and then place the sucker on the road. Right. 
Right, and then paste onto that one, place them on here. And then once again, paste it, place it. There we go. Right, so that's uh, upping the, uh, the the transit of these goods, which will help the profitability of this factory. Um, but more importantly, it should ensure that we are constantly uh, stocked up underneath this station here. I ought to keep an eye on those those newcomers to ensure that they're doing the right thing. There we go. Uh, why are you running empty there, lads? Any particular reason? You're going to be one of the new ones, aren't you? Yes, no, no, that's Junction 11. No, that's not Junction 11. That's Truck 11. Are you lost? Is that what it is? Let's try this again. Copy and then paste. So what this, uh, what pasting does in this sense is uh, it pastes the, the root instructions that were given to the original truck, so truck six, and, uh, and basically just pastes those root instructions for the next truck. Uh, all being well, if you get it right, everybody ends up doing the same thing. So so far, it looks like they're going right. Otherwise, they uh, if you just if you just plonk a truck down on the road, it will make its own mind up as to which is the best way for it to go at every individual junction. And that is no help to anybody. Right, let's have a quick look and just see how that depot is filling up, if at all. So it's currently running empty. Okie doke. Well, with a with a with a little bit of, uh, I think it's going to be time rather than anything else that leads these trucks to actually uh, uh, help this situation out because I don't want that train running with a less than full uh, capacity because that's a, a surefire way to run out of money very quickly. Right there we go. There go the trucks. That all appears to be running smoothly now. Let's have a look at the uh, the status for those, which will give me my day-by-day -day, uh, kind of profit margin that they're making. Where are... You know, why are you not dropping off? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's right. So they make 6,000 every drop-off, which is exactly right. Uh, and if they can't drop off, they basically take the cargo back with them, which, again, is decidedly unhelpful. But uh, the upshot should be that uh, that we end up uh, topping up both this uh, depot that's hidden under here and the one over at the other town. Uh, you know what? If I were to zoom out on there, that would help. There we go. So this is showing where everything is. So these two you can see rattling around there. Actually, let's, uh, let's embiggen this map just a smidge. Uh, the the ones that are in motion 24 hours a day are my bus services. And that's, I'd, I'd, you know, I could probably make more money were I to uh, use them uh, more sparingly. So use them when people are actually inclined to travel. But I want to encourage people to travel at all times of day or night, or at least facilitate that happening. The more people I can shuffle around, the faster these things are going to grow. And that, as I'm sure you can imagine, is going to be the, uh, the secret to success. Right, and as is somewhat traditional, right, we're going to leave at 6am, so if we get to 5am, I think we'll, we'll ride this goods train. Because, hey, it's worth worth soaking up the route, right? Right, wait, ease down. Uh, train and train. There we go. So, it's a, I mean, it's a monumentally dreary route right now, especially in the rain. Um, and here we go into the station. Now, I have a, what we need to do now is we need to have a look at how this depot's filling up because... Uh, the next trick is going to be, hey, hey, look, it hasn't actually got that much in there. Now, that either means that my delivery is awful, although I suspect 
what's actually happening is that these fields are because uh, the fields aren't free uh, they have been picked up by the, the AI in order to start a little bit of growth. And fields are the first step. After you've got fields, you start getting um, individual uh, kind of housing areas kind of emerge. But what I want to do is I want to get a headquarters in there and a couple of office buildings, hopefully, because in doing so, I'll have something that can generate profit over the longer term. Yeah, so the main problem right now is he's just not picking very much up. And I think between these five trucks, why are you still carrying? I think we need to we need to have a quick look at this and make sure it's working properly. There you go. So here goes the fleet. Follow that truck, or rather, follow that fleet. Now they should all go exactly the same way. That was the point of pasting the uh, the, the the timetable for these guys is to make sure that they all go the same way. Unless in multi-pasting, in that way that I did, uh, I've ended up making life trickier for myself. Yeah, where are you, where, where dear boy, where are you going? What number are you? You're number five, okay. You've got other plans entirely then. Oh, you are dropping off. You're just you're just doing it in the opposite route. Okay, fair enough. That I can live with. What would be handy that the game doesn't currently do is it would if it continued to pick up uh, while stopped in the station. Where, where's number six's goods gone? Why are you guys not stopping? Okay, there's a kink in this system. Uh, right, let's time to assistant this guy. So, what do you do? You wish to save what? Save data for return to the pointing start of the. No, no, no. Just, just crack on. Okay. Yes. Turn right. Interesting. These guys are, have decided not to uh, not to unload. Right. Load only. And then reverse direction. Yes, that's absolutely right. And we'll do that daily. Right, you've got a load. Then we're going right. Yes. Oh, we've got a second bay. Ah. Okay, right. That Well, that explains everything. Right, yes. Okay, so I've got two. You see, I should have checked this. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's kill the timetable assistant here. And then we'll copy... Uh, route 5 and we'll paste that onto 10 and 11. That doubles up 9, it also doubles up 10 and 11. In fact, I want to double up 9 as well. So, there we go. Once those guys get a grip on themselves, so following 6 was the wrong thing to do, following 5 is the one that we actually wanted to do, and that should resolve our cargo uh, our cargo problem that we were encountering just there. Okay, so a little bit of a patchy episode today. I haven't, uh, you know, progress is, uh, is slow to come right now, but we do start, we have, we have got uh, goods flowing in the right direction which should enable uh, the new area to grow relatively quickly. So what I'll do now is I'll uh, I'll play through for... Ooh, I'll, I'll give it, you know, long enough that, uh, that progress has been made. Here they go, look. Yeah, that's the spirit. Um, yeah, I'll play through long enough for it to make some progress, and, uh, and then I'll pick up again next time. So thanks very much for watching today. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, uh, suggestions are more than welcome. Now I realise that this is a this is a pretty inefficient way of hauling goods around. Come up with one that's better. I, should I put a station out here and ferry direct from the factory? Uh, is that the, the going to be the golden route to success? Let me know in the comments, and uh, you know, as, as ever, I will try and respond to every one of them. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you soon. Cheerio. This, 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 this.